Hello, children. In open areas in South and Central Florida, with lots of tall grasses and broadleaf shrubs all over the place, lurks a mysterious blue-green fly that no one can seem to find the identity of. It is one fly researcher's goal to try and find an identity of this fly, so I've decided to call him over to give a much more accurate and precise explanation than I could ever dream of giving. Hi, my name is Zachary Denkovich. I work with flies, and recently I've been studying the Skiapodni of the U.S. and Canada. While identifying observations on iNaturalist, I found dozens of observations of this unknown species in Florida and Mexico, which I couldn't identify because it didn't really match any species that was known to occur in the United States. Mikey is actually in the perfect area to find this species, and he's collected approximately 10 of them, uh, males and females, so I'm very excited to receive those specimens and get to work on reporting the existence of this species in the U.S. Thank you so much for your explanation, Zachary. It really makes everything clearer, and I'm glad I was able to help in some way with your research. Anyways, what better way to start this trip than finding the exact thing that we're looking for being eaten by an assassin bug? I guess that means that they're here, and that this beautiful milkweed assassin bug, Zealous Longipes, is getting a nice juicy meal out of it. These flies are predatory, so there's probably lots of nutrients in there. Well, I thought we got it already, but unfortunately, this is a male of the species Condylostylus longicornis, a much more common and already established species here in Florida. Males of the mystery species that we're out looking for should have more of a bluish rather than greenish coloration, and should have an abdomen that is curled downwards. It's still always really cool to see these predatory Schiapodinae up close, no matter how common or rare of a species they are. This right here is another male Condylostylus longicornis, a little bit smaller than the first one, so I actually thought it was a female at first. But as in almost all Schiapodinae, the females should have a noticeably wider and shorter abdomen that is especially wide in the middle. As you can see, this individual's abdomen is a little shorter and maybe a little wider, but it tapers down all the way. Alright, now we went from the all green Longicornis to the all blue Condylostylus mundus. This is another very common and already established species here in Florida, though it is one of the prettiest and most recognizable species, at least as males. Condylostylus mundus is the only species, at least in Florida, with the eyes being blue as well as the body. While this is an absolutely beautifully stunning fly, the mystery species we're out here looking for should be a little greener, have red eyes, and paler legs than this. Still a really cool find, and you can see just how quick these Schiapodinae are. Well, I think we got ourselves what we're out here looking for. I'm pretty certain that this is a male of the mystery species of Condylostylus. You can see overall he's a very iridescent blue-green color, more green than blue, but still not the lime yellowish green of the Condylostylus longicornis, or that bright tealish blue of the Condylostylus mundus. Besides coloration, there are also some other traits to help identify males of this mystery species. The abdomen should be curled downwards. The front four tibiae, or middle part of each leg, should be pale. The mid tibiae should have four unequally sized and unequally dispersed hairs. And the front tibiae should have five or six evenly dispersed hairs that go down in length down the leg. All right, I'm going for the grab. Let's see real quick. All right, children, it's another day, another location. Hoping this better spot with like more broadleaf shrubs works out. I haven't had really good luck trying to find males of this mystery species. So I'm hoping that that changes here today. Why, that was quick and easy. Here's a male of the mystery species checking off all the boxes. It's that metallic blue-greenish color with red eyes, entirely clear wings lacking any brown patches at the bottom, mostly dark legs except with pale tibiae on the front and middle. His abdomen is curled downwards, and it's hard to tell from this angle and without looking up close, but it appears as if the chaetotaxi, or arrangement of hairs, on the front and mid tibiae is an exact match as well. All right, let's try and catch this guy. Hopefully I could actually catch this one, unlike the last one. Alright, I actually got him. Hopefully it's catching on the camera. You can see him wiggling around in there in a little crease in the net. 
All right, they are absolutely abundant over here. I picked the right spot to try out this time. You can see there's a male right here with that blue greenish color, and the female is just more of a regular green. You can see it's just like the Longicornis that the female has a stubbier and shorter abdomen, but all the leg hair differences still hold up. And here's another male just sitting there as well. This is wonderful. So here is the mystery male in the vial now. I transferred him out from the net. Unlike all the other ones that I've shown you from this vial, this one's fate is going to be a little different. I'm not going to be releasing this one, instead preparing it as a specimen that will be useful for Zachary's research. Now this is the only specimen I collected from this location, as I do not want to over collect from a certain location so the populations of these guys can remain stable. All the other ones I've collected of the species prior have also been one or two per location max. Can't wait to prepare this at home though. Alright sir, what are your last words gonna be? Nothing? Okay. Alright, specimen collected. As like all the other ones I've prepared, time to make a label, all the important collection info so Zachary doesn't have to search everything himself. Now, I'm not usually too big on killing insects in order to keep them as specimens, but in this case, it is gonna be such an important specimen for research to try and figure out what this mystery species is that it's really important to have the specimen on record, and I'm gonna have to send it off. Uh, we'll see if we get any feedback as to what this mystery fly is. And I will keep in touch, make sure to let you know if this mystery gets solved. If you enjoyed this video, or even if you didn't enjoy this video, make sure to check out the Fly Guides official YouTube channel and website, run by Zachary and his brother Evan. There you'll find some really cool resources like videos and identification guides and keys for different flies, as well as different insects as well. <coughs> and I'm pretty sure that they're working on some really cool Schiapodinae resources right now, so stay tuned. They also host weekly fly identification meetings. Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. A lot of this video would not have been possible without information I learned in those meetings. So make sure to attend those meetings if you would like. You might just learn a bunch of cool stuff. Anyways, the links for all of this is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much again, Zachary, for providing your amazing information there at the beginning. Please don't leave this amazing fly resource unnoticed.